Hi, good morning. So I'm gonna answer this question. Hello, po. I want sana a savings for my child. What can you suggest, po? Thank you in advance. Thank you for your question, MP Vibes. <laughs> so, sige, let's talk about your kids. For me, what I like about investing sa mga kids is bata pa sila. Meaning, they still have time to to actually get a higher income because they can take the risk. So, if you're gonna invest for your child, I suggest na dapat meron kang um, investment for your low risk and high risk. Both parehas dapat meron. Meron ka ding short term and meron ka ding pang long term. Kasi you'll never know what will happen next, diba? You'll never know the possibilities na mangyari in the future. And of course, what you wanted for your child is, syempre, yung sa future nga, diba? Pero we shouldn't neglect yung mga possibilities na mangyari in the near future. So what I can suggest is you divide your investment into three baskets. First is, yung, syempre, dapat meron kang emergency fund. You create your emergency fund sa mga savings account, yung mga easily accessible na mga, in, na mga savings account. There are a lot of banks na nag-offer ng mga um, in, ng mga savings account for children na mababa lang ang maintaining balance. So like yung iba wala pa maintaining, yung iba 100 pesos lang, tapos high yielding na siya kasi interest earning na siya agad. That's the first one that you should set up for your child. Next is you should get an investment for the educational plan. So dito sa educational plan, you should get a very credible and meron talagang magandang um, backtrack history ng ano, mga educational plan. Nung before, nagpa-compute ako for Ellie ng mga ganyan, medyo mahal siya. And the mere fact na mga after 5 or 7 years, 10 years, magkana na kaya tuition fee by that time, ba? And as a mom, you shouldn't rely sa isa lang. Kasi kung rely ka lang mag-save ng mag-save, eh yung savings mo, say for example, nakaipon ka ng 1 million, eh after, after 10 years, you'll never know how much na lang ang value ng, ng 1 million, ba? So hindi na siya enough for the education ng anak mo. So, hindi ka dapat nag rely sa educational plan lang. So, third, dapat meron kang um, investment na medyo mataas-taas ang income. Since yung anak mo is still young and pwede pa siyang makapag-ipon, pwede ka pa makapag-ipon um, over time. And having an enough time to invest and save is, I think, the most powerful thing when it comes to savings. Time is very important. Manood ka ng mga, ano, ng mga talk ni Boss Sanchez regarding doon sa yayan niya na kinuhaan niya ng mga stocks. You'll be surprised kasi yung mga yaya niya, yaya yun na kasi they were able to generate, I think, a million? So mag-open ka ng stocks for your child and then try to buy mga blue chip companies. Tapos mommy, do it regularly kasi kailangan mo mag-cost average to manage the risk. I don't have an enough time to discuss this pero yun yung tatlo na pwede mong paglagyan ng investment for your